Hello people of the interwebs. I am back to do another unboxing and this one's kind of a unique one. It is the Tokidoki Advent Calendar. And a little story about why I'm doing this is I actually ordered this particular one from China from AliExpress uh, about beginning of October. And it just didn't get here, didn't get here, didn't get here. So I figured it was lost, stuck in the ships, or something was going on where I wasn't going to get it by the beginning of December. And I really, really wanted to because I usually get one or two advent calendars and was very excited about this one. So I figured when the site actually published this, I would buy a set from them to make sure that I had one. And then if this arrived or didn't, I'd deal with it later. So lo and behold, it came yesterday. So now I have two of them. And if anyone's following me on Instagram, same name there, I've been opening that one daily and posting little reels of the actual compartments and opening them and what I've gotten. So um, opening this for y'all will ruin the surprise for me a little bit, but I figured I would open this for you all anyway so that you can see what's in there. And for those of you who didn't get it and are kind of curious what it looks like and what the experience is, you can do that with me and you can kind of get an idea of what all is in there. Um, so let me show you the back. The box is really well designed, it's really pretty. The writing for the advent calendar is hollow and so are the horns and there's different aspects of it that are hollow, so it's really cool. And then on the back, and you can see this one's directly from China because it's all written in Chinese, um, you have what you will get inside. Now, I had also avoided looking at this up till the beginning of December, so I really didn't want to be surprised. But again, we're gonna go ahead and open this and I'm gonna give you a little bit of an idea of uh, what all is in here. So, that's the front. This is the front pocket, and again, hollow advent calendar. It's really cool, it's just chock full of different things. So there's that, and then here is the different compartments. They're all in order, they're easy to see, easy to open. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this for you guys. I'm gonna try to leave this here and go through them and then at some point I'll probably move them so that I can stack the figures here and you can see them and then I'll take you down and kind of show you what everything is once I've opened it. So let us get started. They all have a little like trigger push tab and actually these come off, which is kind of cool because some of them look like little individual cards that you could put with your display. So, each one comes in these little bags. This is the first one. Oh, and this is different than the one that I'm currently opening, but it's so pretty. Look at this. So, it's meant to be like a little bit of brown and I'm not sure if my lighting is picking up the color because it's not just clear there's a little bit of a sheen and a tint and it there's a flower in her hair oh and look there's the little like hair comb thing can you guys see that now as far as the size goes let me just show you guys this is a standard three inch unicorno okay this is a neon star and these are the frenzies that you can get as like phone charms or whatever. Um, you can see the little hole in the head. I have a bunch of these and I've taken the little uh, clip holder off and just display them like little figurines. So these are basically, I'm going to take these away. These are basically the same size as these frenzies with a little bit of modification on some of the different ones. Like the face on this one seems a little bit longer. Um, there was another one that I opened earlier that was um, a little smaller. But essentially, I think they're about an inch and a half compared to the full size unicornos. So um, they're kind of neat in that if you wanted to display them all, they don't take up too much space. Like here's the neon stars. And there's that little one. It's so pretty. Let me see if I can give you guys a close-up. I can't tell if maybe this is meant to be a Christmas variation of Sakura or something. I'm not quite sure. I haven't, I'm not going to lift the box up and look at the back every time, but that's what this one looks like. Um, I'm going to try to just put them off to the side and then we'll get to them and show you guys later on. So again, the little flap comes off and 
And they do have the Tokidoki foil, which is kind of cool. Okay, so for day two, here's a latte. Oh, I love this. I collect the Mufias too, and I love these. So look at how cute it is. It's so tiny. And it's clear, which also love so much. And there's even a thing that says, have you seen me in the back? Just like the regular cartons. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. Can you guys see it? It's like a, a very silvery blue on the latte part because the regular latte is blue and it's happy and it's got a little 3D tail. This is really neat. I really love this one. So there's that one. Day three. Let's see what we have here. And I don't believe this has any kind of like a chaser or surprise or anything. You literally just get what's on the back. But I've been following other people that have been opening these on Instagram and talking to some friends. And the sequence of what you can find on what days is different. So it's not everyone's going to find this guy on day three and everyone's going to find this guy on day one. So there is a little bit of variety and that's kind of fun to be surprised. But I don't think the actual items are different from person to person. So this is day three. Oh, so cute. This one's a little bit, a little bit bigger. Um, and I, okay, so all of these are clear, which is really cool. There's glitter inside. And I don't know the name of this one, so I am going to flip her over because I have no idea who she is. Oh, this, is, okay, says her name right on her shirt. It's Chow Chow. Um, and then the other one that was really cute that I liked a lot. Where did the other one go? That I was looking at. Oh, here we go. It is Sakura. Okay, so I was right. Cool. Um, so she is pink and clear with glitter. And she's got, I think it's meant to be. Let me see if my camera will focus. I think it's meant to be a bird. And some holly or some mistletoe. I'm not quite sure. It's really tiny and hard to see. I mean, like, here's my hand. Hang on. Focus camera. And here's it. So they are pretty tiny. Um, so there's that one. Next day. Okay. Oh, we have another milk carton. So this one's different. Um, this one is Choco Milk. How cute. It's also clear. And, but it's gray. So it kind of doesn't look like it's clear, especially with my lighting right now. Um, but it's clear. It's got glitter on the inside. It's got another thing that says, have, have you seen me? Uh, and it's Santa, which is cute. And these, I think, should stand on their own. The funny thing is some of them are, yeah, see, maybe not because some of them are a little lopsided because the proportions change, so they don't stand up on their own, but some of them do, so it's really cute. Um, let me see if I can get it to zoom better so you guys can see the details. There we go. Okay, so that is day four. Day five. is oh this is so cute she is super clear green and she's got her hair is red and gold and she's got a little star on her oh I love the coloring on this I mean I know that they're not unique molds or any originals but the coloring and the variations that are Christmas themed are really cute like her eye is red and green if you can see that and then the um, cheeks and just the the outfit and the zipper. Just everything is really cute to me. I love these. I think they would make really sweet displays around a Christmas tree or something all together. So, number six. And this one is, ooh, okay, really pretty. Again, Christmas colored. It's like a like a silvery, almost kind of bronzy. I'm not quite sure how to describe the 
base color of this, but it's shimmer. It says love on her side in green and uh, the Tokidoki skull heart situation in red. Um, and her hair is that same pewter, I guess. I don't know what color you'd call this. And red, not the best painting on that right there, but for the most part, they've all been pretty well done for me. So I'm going to let that one go. Um, so that's day six. They're so tiny and makes them so much cuter. All right, day seven. Okay, so this is a Myrmicorno. Oh, how cute. So the coral, and there's a teeny tiny little seahorse Myrmicorno, or whatever you want to call it, because it's got the Tokidoki horn. Um, again, clear. You can kind of see my finger through it until you get to the tail. And the wings are clear too. The hair is silver. The color motif besides the coral and the hair seems to be silver and gold. So, um, and I don't know anything about Marmacornos because I don't collect them. So take that for what you will. But super cute, same size, about an inch and a half. Day eight. All right, nine is another Marmacorno. This one is red. I think this one might be a version of coral. Uh, only reason why I know that is because I bought one because I did a um, not Lego made but Lego uh, set and I wanted to have the actual unicorno with it. So I bought that. So I think it's supposed to be another version of coral and instead of coral and like I think it's a, a turquoisey kind of color combo. It's red and silver and a little bit of green in her hair and there's a little starfish there and her face. And her little ears and I think this is meant to be coral so pretty cute day nine I'm going through these pretty quickly because there's 24 to open and I don't want this video to be like a half hour long okay so this one's flat very flat oh and this is the one I was talking about so it's the seahorse but it has the horn like the unicornos do it is mostly opaque but there's a little bit of translucency to it and it's got a green little I don't know what you'd call this on the head there's gold dots and I think this would be a, a I'm assuming a poinsettia on the side this one's a little mm, because you can't you literally can't stand it up the only thing I did when I took pictures was I took a regular one and I kind of hung it from there because it's like the only thing you can do um, because it's not, like, there's no way, unless you want to put some sort of uh, tacky putty or something on the bottom to make it stand, there's really no way to make it stand. So not too thrilled with that, but I really do love the shape. Um, and I'm going to actually look this one up because I don't know the name of this one at all. This one is Sea Ammo. Cute. All right, so day 10. Okay, let's see who this is. This is, oh, it's another milk. Um, not sure who this is, but I am loving all of these Mufia ones because they're going to look so adorable in the rest of my food set. Um, if you guys haven't seen my collection, I pretty much have all of them that I want, minus one or two that I don't really like. And they're all together and kind of looks like a pantry cupboard when you look at my shelves. And these are just going to look so cute on there. So excited. Let me look at the name of this one because, again, I don't know it. This one is uh, Miruku, I think. I would assume. Yeah, I think it's that one. Um, where are you? Y'all can't see what I'm looking at. There we go. So super cute. Fairly hefty, feels nice in the hand. It's got a little, it doesn't say have you seen me, but it does have a little bit of uh, design in the back. And of course, glitter everywhere. You can see that right there. And gold feet, very cute. Number 11, I do like the way these open. 
because I've had ones where you have to like punch and struggle with the perforations and these are really well done. So, okay. This is, I think this is meant to be a, a variation on St Stelina, Starlina, I don't remember the name of it exactly. But it is gold and she has clear pink hair with sprinkles in her hair and Donatella's on her side there on the bum if you can see it. Let me see. There we go. Uh, the tail is red and it's basically the same on the other side so there's no variation from sides on this one. So there's that one. Number 12. Okay, we have another Myrmicorno. I don't know the name of this one either, but this is really cute. So she has a bow in her hair and the middle of the bow is a pearl and she's wearing pearls and this is really cute coloring. There's a little bit of coral in her hair, but for the most part, they tried to keep it to the red and the green. She's got little tiny hearts. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus so you can, there we go, little tiny hearts and on this side, she's got a little whale or dolphin, not quite sure. But there's that one. Number 13. Like, see, some of these are really cute. You could put them on Christmas gifts or they're just, they're really cute cards. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, you know what? I'm wrong. I think this is the one that is meant to be a variation on Star Starlina, Stelina. Not sure. Uh, don't quote me. I'm not great with the names. I just, they're pretty. I collect them. That's where that goes. So red, and again, it's more of that pewtery, sparkly color, but like the glitter is inside the vinyl because it doesn't come off at all in any way. Um, she's got a gold star on the side gold and silver and green hair and there's red in the front you see the the glittery shininess it's really neat they all pretty much have it so that's day 13 14 let's see what we get Okay, I think this is supposed to be mozzarella. Am I wrong? It could be. Nope, I'm right. So it's meant to be mozzarella. So here she is. She's super cute. She's got gold earrings and again, translucent with some glitter. It is so hard to focus on these because they are so tiny. And my camera doesn't want to focus on anything because the box is so busy here we go so she's got a tiny little snowman on her butt i don't know if we can hang on one second there we go tiny little snowman on her butt she's got a little bit of cow print on her ear and her head and then so hard to hold she's got a heart in the middle that she's holding super sweet and more cow pattern on her leg so there's that one that's day 14 day 15 Ooh, we are just having technical difficulties with focus today too many things for my camera okay okay so this is donatella she's adorable come my camera catch up Hang on one second, everybody. There she is. So she's got one green donut in her hair, one red one. She's got a donut that she's wearing and it's half translucent, half gold. Her dress and like little costume is all gold. Now I will tell you for a fact, this one does not stand. Why? Because I already opened this in my other one and I tried desperately to get her to stand and, and those little sausage feet do not... <laughs> equate to being able to balance so 
taking away some of the size on these did make a difference as far as them being able to stand on their own. Like the Unicornos can stand no problem because they still have four posts. So they'll just balance. They're fine. Um, but the some of the other ones definitely won't. And I don't know actually if the Myrmicornos will. Uh, it's a little iffy, but they're trying. So that'll stand. Um, okay, number 16. Okay, so this is the cactus dog. It's adorable. And <laughs> I love the little angry face. Um, and it's translucent to a certain extent, but because I think it's so thick, you really can't see through it. But it's green, and then it's got uh, red and gold pokey spots, kind of like a cactus. And I'm sure this one would stand. It's a little sausage. It's adorable. Look at that. Give you guys an up-close look at her. Look. So sweet. A little cactus tail bum. So cute. Okay. Now we are up to day 17. I'm going to try to speed this up. We are taking some serious time on this. So this is strawberry milk. Oh, I'm in love with her. So she's a pink pearlescent, like metallic in the box and in the ears. Her shoes are red. She is clear. There's a puppy on the back that says, have you seen me? Super cute. I love the coloring on this. So a little bit of red for Christmas, but they didn't fully get rid of the rest of her coloring, which is pink because she's strawberry milk. So 18. Is another, oh, it's, who is this, strawberry something? Where are we? Where are we? Um, where are my Nazi? Here we go. Ruby. She is Ruby. Right there. Um, okay. So she's metallic, pinkish, maybe again that pewter color. And she's got strawberries on her side, and her tail is kind of more of a brighter green and goes with her hair. Again, not the best paint job here on the hair, but I let it go because they're so adorable and the rest of it's really nice. She's got little freckles here, the Toki Doki logo on the front. She's got a tiny kind of smush looking but cute strawberry. So there's that. 19. Hit 18, right? Yeah. So 19. We have. Okay. So um, I don't know this puppy's name. Excuse me while I look. Where are we? Okay. Donatino, I guess. So we Donatello's dog, Donatino, I'm assuming. Uh, so there's that. He is gold and red and has sprinkles on his head. He's got a donut for a collar. He is sitting, which is cute because this is kind of a, a unique position. I don't see a lot of them in. He's got a little red tail and a gold head. And wait, does he not sit? Because that would be... I think his big head is too big to sit. Y'all, that's funny. Yeah, he won't sit. <laughs> He's too big to sit. Okay, so um, we just did 19. So here's 20. Okay, uh, this is the panda looking one. Very cute. It's black and clear-ish with some glitter and sparkle all around. And doesn't, this is the only one that I would say that is not Christmas color themed at all. Nothing, no Christmas, no, um, no red, no green, no holly, nothing. It's just the same color but small. With just a little bit of pearlescence in the translucent parts. 21. So this is, oh, it's funny because I actually brought the Frenzies version of this to compare them to. Can you see how it's just a teeny bit smaller, just a smidge? But this is obviously a solid blue and a solid white, and this is a translucent sort of 
blue up here. It looks a little blue on the snowflake. And then this just looks gray and silver. And um, it's kind of funny that I have this to compare to. Yeah, I would say they're probably about 10 to 20% max smaller. That's it. So there's that one, 22. This is, I don't know her name. I'm so sorry. I just, I don't know names. There's too many to collect to know names. Um, she is Sandy. And she's most definitely Christmassy. Uh, she's wearing red and she's got a green hair and a little silver patch right here. Um, a little bit of more red on the, looks like there's a cactusy or some sort of pattern on her clothing. So, and her eyes look a little different to me than from what I remember of the actual figures, but it's super cute. 23, almost done here. Who so do we have? Okay, so um, I don't know her name, but this is like the island one. She's, I have the frenzy version of this too. She's wearing um, a hibiscus in her hair. And again, mostly same colors, but she's gold. And then she's got a little bit of green and red in her hair that sort of alludes to Christmas. Just, just a smidge. So there's that. And the last one. Let's see what 24 looks like. Who is the last one? Okay, I'm assuming this is audio is based on the name being written on it for the other one. And it too has a little bird, I'm assuming, and some holly on the cape. And it's translucent clear, green, and um, the face is like a pearlescent white. Uh, it looks, let me, let me grab, where's the other one? Hello, here we go. So this one's pink and this one's green, so they would go together pretty well. Um, so I'm going to move this over and then I'm going to move these guys over and just kind of give you a quick glance at all of them and what they all look like. Let me flip them over and I will move the camera down so y'all can see them. And then you will have an idea of all of the little ones that are in here. They're so tiny. I will say, for anybody who wants to collect but really doesn't have space, this is a good way to get a general idea of all the different figures that Tokidoki does without needing a ton of display space. So I'm going to take y'all down. You can see what they all look like. And here's a basic shot of everything. Um... So that was everything that came in the 2021 Tokidoki Advent Calendar. Um, if you stuck around till the end, kudos to you. Um, I'm sorry if there were any camera issues. This is my first very long video. But if you guys stuck around, let me know which one of these was your favorite. Um, and I appreciate you sticking by me and watching this. I hope you guys got some information or at least got some entertainment out of it. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and all that good stuff. Bye.